Uh, greetings, Sagittarius, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're well, and let's dive right in and see what the cards have for Sagittarius today. And I invite you to bring your own question or concern as you come into this reading. And uh, wow, you're coming in with a nine of disc, a lot of independence and wealth and accumulation of money and of uh, prosperity. And you, your career is just flourishing. And you've got a lot of innocence uh, that you're bringing, nostalgia, a feeling of the happiness of childhood. That inner child is just uh, being uh, very supported at this time. Uh, you're very happy. And uh, it's, it's a beautiful opening because you've got uh, independence here as well with the Queen of Swords because you've finally gotten above the clouds on something and seeing something true and accurate for the first time or seeing something or how it really is for the first time. Maybe seeing how much independent wealth you have come to Sagittarius and how that is um, bringing out a lot of feeling from the past, the happiness from childhood. And you've worked hard to get clarity on this because uh, in the recent past there was some a defeat, some battling, some feeling that you had to use your mental intelligence to uh, look through all of these energies that felt victimizing. Uh, someone was having to win at all cost and that affected you uh, in your mind. You might have felt some uh, feeling of, um, you know, <clears throat> just being uh, harmed by something, hurt by someone. Someone um, was just winning over you. Or you could have defeated someone else. Since this is in the recent past, you might have had to uh, use your mind, your independence, and use that sword of truth to cut through uh, whatever this was and defeat it within your own mind because that's bringing uh, independence, wealth, luxury, a new home, some uh, travel or uh, affluence. And it's coming to you. Uh, what is challenging that abundance is something from the past, a way of thinking about the past. And you are now using your independent reasoning and your thoughts to see what is really true for you uh, because there are choices to be made um, that you're seeing now. You're downloading these new uh, choices uh, and they could be tempting or deceptive or alluring or seductive. Choices uh, we think will bring us happiness. We think that um, our, uh, by battling and defeating uh, a situation, it will bring us these new choices. And the, the choices could be to go for what you really want, what you really value. And um, you're working on this with others. You've been very um, successful at your craft, at your work. Uh, and people are on this team with you really recognize how uh, talented and good you are at what you do and you're building something. You might be um, buying a home and renovating it and there are a lot of uh, choices to be made about this uh, and using some very um, independent thinking to be careful not to get into this uh, mental conflict because uh, there is this three of swords at the way you see this well, this abundance, this independence, you see it as having betrayed you. Well, this card of defeat in the past does uh, lead at times to heartbreak, to feeling like uh, someone uh, penetrated your heart, wounded you to the core. Very heartbreaking situation. And uh, why is that here? We'll have to see because the environment is... Um, showing you some uh, fear. Well, look at the swords. They're hovering about her head. They could drop into her pillow at any moment, causing these nightmares. You're worrying about something. You're anxious about this sadness. Something caused you a lot of sorrow. Uh, maybe you felt defeated in the recent past um, and about a choice you made. And you've worked hard on it. That's what's happening now. You're working hard on this uh, renovation, on this new project, this new home that you're building. And you're using a lot of money that you've accumulated uh, to do this. 
and you might have uh, had a little innocence, maybe been a little naive about uh, what it is that you are, uh, the fruits of your labor, what you're working on. And uh, the <clears throat> a hope and fear is this new beginning, this fool. Your hope and fear is, I, I hope I'm not being a fool, <laughs> taking this on this uh, leap of faith, taking on this uh, project that you're working on, uh, these choices you had to make. You made a choice, and it led to a certain kind of sorrow. And it led to fear in your environment. Someone you're dealing with is either causing you to fear, uh, be frightened or worried or ang anxious, uh, depressed, uh, caught in a nightmare, trapped. Um, or they could be feeling that, someone you're working with, someone you're dealing with, uh, your partnership. Because the advice is to uh, move away, go to a new transition, move on, uh, away from this uh, fear, away from this sorrow, and start have a whole new beginning. And that m new beginning, your hope and your fear is that you will uh, step out a whole new uh, world, a leap of faith, a whole new person. You might be changing. You see how this character is uh, naked, but with just the tattoos. You might be uh, getting a significant tattoo at this time. And that hope and fear is that tattoo. Uh, something about uh, will lead you beyond this fear and this sorrow to a new beginning with a transition to a calmer waters uh, where you can do this inner child healing. Wow, well, that's what I have for my Sagittarius. And let's get some clarity. Uh, why is this um, Nine of <clears throat> Pentacles here? That's a card of independent wealth and a lot of independence and doing things uh, on your own because you have so much abundance. Uh, yes, you're successful. You're victorious. You're standing above the rest. You're on your high horse. You battled hard and you um, have gone through this war and that's brought a lot of wealth. And this innocence is here because of death. Well, there's something about your childhood that is coming to an end. It's a natural a rite of passage. And you see these two horses are moving in the same a direction toward the future. So something is coming victoriously and it's coming to whatever it is from your childhood. That innocence is your is dying. It's coming to an end. Whatever innocence and childhood represents for you, uh, there is coming because you're having a rebirth, and you're using your independence to heal and change and balance and to become something totally different than you ever were before. And the, this new beginning of the fool uh, collaborates with that. And this defeat in the recent past is here because uh, you had to uh, go through that period of seeing, was there some black magic going on that was trying to defeat you? Something in the past where your manifestation skills were being uh, betrayed. You were being abused uh, mentally or verbally. And now you're bringing that down and creating something out of that defeat, something magic is going to be very inspiring for you because you've got the two of pentacles and you're having to have this infinite change and balance and flexibility with the choices you're making um, because there's uh, choices about managing your money and energy and time. And uh, that is what is coming at the crown right now, how to balance these changes. And this work you're going is going to, uh, whatever it is you're working on will lead to this legacy of happiness, uh, like a home, a family, money, security. Uh, this is everything that everybody wants <laughs> in the human realm. This is the, the card of total happiness, success. Um, just uh, the, whatever you worked on, you got that recognition. And the sadness is here because of something that is being offered to you. 
Uh, maybe a new love is coming in that will heal this sadness. You'll have to take these swords out and to identify what is causing you so much sadness about a relationship that ended or something that's over. But it's some new opportunity is coming for you. And uh, you're going to take the king of wands could be in your environment. Somebody who's a leader, charismatic, passionate, goes after this project courageously. Um, and that will help you with that fear. Whatever that depression and anxiety is, this worry, this feeling that things in your environment are, are uh, fearful. And you're going to have this help from this king of wands, that passionate energy that is, knows and what it wants and goes for that. And this new beginning is coming because you had a complete end to something. Something in this defeat came to an end. This is five and ten. It doubled. And you're uh, hitting, hitting rock bottom uh, to make this new beginning. That is what uh, is the hope and fear. You hope that you'll have a new beginning. Your fear is that you will hit rock bottom, lose everything, uh, just be um, at some pl place where your mind can't think through it anymore. So you have to take a leap of faith. And that's leading to this brand new transition and moving away from anything that's holding you back energetically because you uh, have the four of cups coming where you're looking over again these cups something that um, was disappointing in the relationship and emotion and friends and feeling um, and wanting to engage with others you're kind of apathetic and bored closed off from these relationships but you're being offered a whole new cup and it's saying, take that cup and start moving. That's going to help you get going again out of this doldrum. You're making this transition to something that's going to be a lot better for you. And you're juggling and learning to balance and be flexible with this change that's coming on you. And uh, that's what I have for you, a very powerful reading. You're going to take all of this wealth and independence and be very successful. And you're childhood whatever something from the past is dying somebody from the past or some relationship or some situation uh, from childhood is coming to an end so a new uh, beginning can come a new uh, rebirth and it's coming out with um, a lot of change and you're going to be a whole new person out of this more independent um, able to make magic out of defeat and to make choices and be very adaptable. And then you're working on some uh, amazing legacy, and that's what's coming right now, this feeling of wealth, abundance, happiness, security. And that's what I have for you, my Sagittarius, awesome reading. And uh, if you know I love you, Sagittarius, and we're in this interconnected field of learning and growing about uh, these changes you're undergoing and this brand new beginning. And you're leaving behind uh, anything in your environment that caused you fear and anxiety and depression. And you're moving forward uh, to a whole new transition from where you were before. You're taking this new offering, this new a cup that's being offered to you. And you're taking that cup, if you see it's being offered to you, uh, to transition on uh, to something new, a new horizon. And so it is. And if you like the way I read, please uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And see you next time. Bye-bye.